y'all and welcome today we're going to be making a freeform resin base and I've had a lot of requests on how I do these so I'm going to show you today how I do my bases and uh, before we get started I just want to say that uh, personal protective equipment PPEs are very important when you're working with resin and as you see I'm not wearing any gloves and that's my personal option that I do because I have arthritis in my hands and it's very hard for me to grip things sometimes. And with gloves on, it makes it even harder. So that's why I don't wear gloves. Thankfully, I don't have any reactions to resin skin-wise. And normally, I do wear a face mask, a respirator. But when I'm filming like this, you know, of course I can't talk with one on, so that's why I don't have one on now. But I do have uh, a highly ventilated building here that I'm in, my little she shed, with the windows are up and the doors open. I have a fan that's running very quietly there, and so I do have ventilation. So be sure to do what's best for you. I'm doing what's best for me, but I'm not going to preach on personal protective equipment. But you do whatever you feel you need to do. Okay, so we got that out of the way. And today we're going to get started here on this base. I've chosen to do, um, I've already poured, this is a cup and a half of mixed resin that I used two drops of this grass green epoxy pigment to color in here and I've let it sit for about an hour now maybe about an hour and ten minutes I've let it sit and just kind of settle and get the bubbles out and things like that so we're fixing to mix up our little uh, decorations in here so I'm using this grass green pigment and the pink pigment okay so I've got my six ounces of resin mixed up that I'm fixing to pour these into so what I'm going to do is use my casting craft opaque pigment white that I'm going to put in my cups. And what I'm going to do is people ask, how do you get that feathery effect? This right here. This is how, how you get it is using this right here. So this, is, this cup right here is going to be my white. So I'm going to put three drops. One, two, three in the white and I'm going to go one, two, one, two. Okay, these are going to be my colors. And I've chosen to do this, um, I like a mint green pink color here, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put, hmm, maybe two drops of the green in there. We'll see how that works. I always have your baby wipes handy when you, especially when you don't have your gloves on, like I say. And then I'm going to do two drops of the pink and see how that works. We may have to add more. We'll see. So let's mix up our white. And you don't want to stir too fast because you want to try to keep as, the least amount of bubbles in there as you can. But you do want to make sure it gets all mixed up. So, just try to make sure you scrape the bottom because this casting craft will sink to the bottom. As you see, it's sinking there. So, you want to be sure and scrape the bottom and the sides and get that mixed up. But not too fast because you don't want all those bubbles in your, in your colors. So, I'm going to scrape this off and sit this here. Wipe my little plastic knife off. I, I love these little heavy-duty plastic knives for mixing my colors. All right, I'm going to do the green here. Let's see how this looks. And we'll see if we have to add some more. Get the white mixed up in there, too. I want it to be darker than my base right here. But not real dark to where it's a dark green. I want like a mini green. And this is looking that way. So I think I'm going to leave this just like this. 
be sure and get that all mixed up scrape your sides so you don't have any color residue on the sides that are different okay I like that that's a really pretty minty green I hope you can see that I'm gonna scrape my knife sit this down wipe it off with my baby wipe and then I'm gonna mix the pink now that pink looks dark right there but as we mix it in and get that white in there we'll get a more of a a light pastel pink and it's a pretty pink just mix it good make sure you've got all your white mixed in you can see the streaks of white that are if they have it mixed well and I love this pink but I'm gonna do just because I know with pinks that I've worked with before they will as they dry fade so I put one more drop of pink in there they will fade to a real real light to where sometimes it's they don't keep their color as well so I want to make sure we keep a pretty pink in here so I'm going to mix that in real well and just make sure it's all mixed in and just scrape that off and then I'm going to wipe my plastic knife off real well here and set it to the side because I will reuse those and we'll throw that away and get a fresh one ready to go okay so here comes the fun part and this let me say does not have to be precise it does not have to be uniform it does not have to be exact this is an art and resin has a mind of its own it's going to do what it's going to do so we're going to try our best to get it you know the best that we can but there's no way to make it go an exact science here so what i'm going to do is just make designs in my base here and just nothing exact as you see it's going to spread and then I'm going to do a another one here Ooh, I did the bottom of my cup in there I don't want to go real thick because I don't want that I want it to keep the design in it so I'm going to do here maybe here and then here and we'll start it this way there as you see it's gonna let that settle for a second maybe just hit it with a heat gun get any extra bubbles out And then I'm going to take my pink here and I'm going to go in here let's see maybe do it this way because I don't want it to be stripy and I'm just just making some designs here Okay, may need to go with this right here because it's already faded just a tad, but I don't want it real thick because it'll go like a stripe and I don't want it stripy. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to take my white and basically do the same thing. Let's see. Just stick a few of the bubbles out. I want to go a little bit differently with the white and so I'm just going to go around the middle lock and very thinly pour almost like a maybe a little flower here 
just to put a little white in there. You see here, we might want to just go over it just a little. And then maybe in the middle, just a swirly, just to give us a middle there. And as you can see, this right here will actually be the base of your vase, the bottom. So we want to just kind of give us a kind of an area where we can focus on. So we kind of know if our resin is moving. see the pink is already lightening up and I know the white had a lot to do with that but I'm just going to touch it up a little bit more just so we can make sure that we see this beautiful pink color I want to make sure it stands out against the white and the green and let's wriggle over here like I said, you don't have to be exact. You see here, my I'm just basically pouring. So doesn't nothing have to this is art. And we do this one right here. Okay. Put our little wipe. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be really, really pretty. So let's check the green just a little bit. Just because we have that green background, it may, you know, you may just want to make sure your green is standing out. And there we go. And there. Now, I'm, I tend to overdo it sometimes, so I'm going to leave this alone. Hit it with a... And you may want to kind of push up a little bit on the end. But I like it being all the way to the end. So what I'm going to do now, I'm mean, gonna get out my trusty tool here. I see a little speck of something that's already. And being with the doors open here in South Carolina, gnats and things can get in. But I'm going to leave this. I'm going to put a top on this, and I'm going to let it sit anywhere from three to four hours. I'll come back and I'll check it. And see how we're doing. And when I do, when it's ready to place on the vase, I will bring you back and show you how we lay or drape this over a vase to create the form. And uh, we'll see how all that works. But I'm going to put a cover over this so no bugs get in it. And we'll be back in about three to four hours. Hey, y'all, and welcome back. We have our freeform resin vase here that is about ready to drape. And the, how you can tell when it's ready to drape, if you will just very lightly stick your finger to the resin, you can tell it's tacky, but it's not runny, and the color doesn't come up on your finger. So you kind of tap it right there, where to, and it'll pull, but the color doesn't come off. So that's how we know that it's ready to drape. So I'm going to get my vase, and here is the vase that I have. And this vase I bought from Walmart. I think it was $3.97, something like that. And what I did is I wrapped it in a trash bag, and then I wrapped it in this tape so that it'll keep its shape, okay? So we want to 
put our vase there and then put your hand up under the plastic here just like this and then very gently drape it on the base and then you want to go around and make sure that it's even if it's not you can move it that trash I have a trash bag this plastic trash bag will move slide one way or the other if you need to correct it so and then you can kind of get your shapes here that you're looking for and pull on those and get that draping effect see this is on one side here is drooped a little bit more so I want to pull it more to this side there as you can see and then I kind of get my ends of my trash bag and I just kind of push them under the base like this so that when it does run and it will run a little bit but not a whole whole lot as it hardens it just kind of keeps its form that we have it on so we'll be back tomorrow and I'm going to let it sit all night and we'll give it till tomorrow morning and we'll come out and we'll take this off of the base and see what it looks like. As you can see there are some pieces here that are starting to run a little bit. This side right here started to get a little bit harder than what it should have been and it does that here. I'm, like I said I'm in South Carolina and the weather here is kind of funky right now. I can't decide if it wants to be winter, spring, or summer. So I think yesterday it was like 60 degrees pouring rain tornadoes and today it looks like it's going to be 80 degrees. So it's getting a little warm out here. So your resin will cure a lot quicker when it gets warm. So which is fine. So I'm just going to let this sit overnight and we'll come back out tomorrow and we'll take this off the base and we'll see what kind of base shape we have. and. Um, I thank you all for being here and watching this. And if you have any questions or comments, you can certainly leave those. And if you'd like to go to my site to look at the vases I've done before, my site is www.blueridgedesigns, and that's blue, B-E-L-U-E, -E, which is my maiden name, Blue Ridge Designs. And I have a email if you'd like to email questions or comments you can do that at blueridgedesigns at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any that I can and help you out while you're trying to create because we all need to help one another I think the world needs a lot a lot more helping one another and loving one another so we'll do that and if you have uh, any designs of your own that you think might help me I'd be happy to watch those because I have seen a ton of YouTube videos before I started doing resins so if you have anything you think I might want to see or whatever that'd be great and you can always um, leave your comments below and in the description below I'm going to put a link to all the things that I use to create my bases and um, so I hope that if you need any help or anything, you can find it there. Until tomorrow, thank you. Hey y'all and welcome. We're going to unbase this now, take it off of the form that we have it on. It, it's nice and hard. It's actually been two days because yesterday was Sunday and I had a lot of things going on here at the house. So I didn't get out here like I wanted to. So it was actually on an extra day than what I would have normally left it. But we're going to take it out now and show you what the finished product will look like. We're going to gently but firmly take out 
our mold. And then we'll go around these creases and pull the plastic loose. And this one here is not bad at all. So it will get hung up in the creases and you'll just have to give a gentle tug. That's the one thing about trash bags that I use. They don't tear. They're stronger than the saran wrap and some of the thinner plastic wraps. And so they don't tear off and leave pieces in the cracks of the vase as easy, or in the creases of the vase as easily as saran wrap does. So I am going to... Good. There. Now. Here we go. Here is our vase that we poured, our freeform resin vase with the pink and the mint green. Here's the inside. I hope you can see that, the inside of it. Oh, pretty, pretty Easter colors, I think. Now, a lot of you may want to cut off some of these odd pieces, and definitely if they had jag jagged edges, like that's got a little bitty piece on there. Some of you may want to make it more uniform. Personally, myself, I like the organic look, so I'm going to leave these alone. But I have a pair of these, I guess they're hedge trimmers. Hedge trimmers. I'm not really sure here. But I'm going to take this little piece of plastic there, these hedge trimmers, and just chip off these little pieces. Now that's kind of short, so I'm going to get a pair of scissors and see if I can get that. There we go. Now, I don't want it to cut anyone's finger. I don't see really anything. I'm going to take a Dremel to that little piece right there. It's just got just a little rough edge. I cut off a little spike there, but there's a little piece of resin that was just pokey where it gets stuck to the plastic there. But I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm going to, I think it's beautiful just like that, the more organic look like that. I'm going to leave it where it dripped, where it ran down the, the plastic in the base. I'm just going to leave it just like this. And, um... Like I said, I'll probably sand a couple of edges here and there, like right there, and maybe right in there, and buff it a little bit. But otherwise, I think it's beautiful. And this will measure, let's see, the met, resin has a mind of its own, like we've said. But we're going to do, let's see, this is almost nine inches right here. And it is just a smidgen over five inches across. So that's a nice size base there, I think, for an arrangement you can put. For Easter, of course, you can put uh, candy eggs or bunnies or whatever such as that in your centerpiece or lilies. That would be lovely to put some fresh lilies in or tulips. And uh, it will hold water, it's hard. As you can see, it's nice and hard. It's not going to move. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on um, freeform resin bases. We'll be doing some more. If you have some suggestions of something you'd like to see, perhaps just leave me a comment or you can email me. And uh, I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can. But we'll be doing more of these, I hope, and maybe show more people how to enjoy free-forming resin here. So, until the next time, thank you for joining me.